Good morning. My up AR back. Here's the plan. There's no power. We have a scheduled brownout today, started at 7.05 this morning, and it's expected to continue until 6 this evening. So, only battery operated power tools, and I don't think they have many of those. It may mean that the aircon crew doesn't come in today. I haven't seen them yet because they're going to struggle. It means no water supply, it means no internet, it's, oh, it's a disaster. Hopefully not too much of an impact on the regular build crew. What are they going to be doing? Well, walls, whether it's inside the house or around the perimeter. They will now be doing some waterproofing of inside the seating area for the swimming pool. And they're also creating a temporary bridge because the next step after all the waterproofing is done is to do the two tie beams inside the pool, concrete those in and then backfill everything. So they need to be able to get the soil across a temporary bridge. And then I'm not sure what else. Uh, with no tools it's going to be a little tricky for them to do too many other things. After all of that, what else could possibly go wrong? One of my hopefully relatively infrequent requests. After looking at the statistics for yesterday's video, it was appalling. We were fortunate that we'd had two really good days. And I've gone and blown it all, I think, by sticking a picture of an aircon on the thumbnail. Or it was something else. I don't know yet. But could you help me out? As long as, as I've said before, if these videos don't make you violently ill, would you mind today sticking a like in? You did it for Richard yesterday. Thank you for that. Stick a like in today. Yes, yes, it's you. I'm talking to you. And a comment. Anything you like. Tell me, yeah, it was rubbish yesterday. That's why the viewer numbers were way down. Or tell me, I don't know, how many kids have you got? I mean, don't get too personal. It's the internet, it's all open. We don't want to risk privacy. Tell me anything you like. Tell, tell me something that you would like to see in the videos that you haven't seen yet. Please don't ask for any knowledge, because that's clearly impossible. But anything you want to know. Maybe a little bit about us, I doubt it, but actually somebody did ask for that a long, long time ago, and at some point I will give you a bit more of our backstory. But anything you like, stick a comment in, say ABC, I don't care. It just helps the algorithm. So, please, everybody, like and comment today. Thank you very much. Here we are at the Aisha team, the wall around the corner. And we're, as you can see in the shadow, trying to pull concrete in the top tie beam and possibly falling off the platform at the same time. Uh, right, here's something you are not going to want to hear. I just spoke to the builder and it's just a guess. But he has said, this wall will be finished, providing the neighbour's wall doesn't fall down, in another week. Now, you won't like that because if that were true, let's say six days, six working days, if that's not including today, that means I'm going to be right on the money. Now the good news is, I'm excluded. I can't be in the competition. Although I couldn't possibly have known. Nobody could. But it would put us at 128. I think, I didn't go back and check, but I think Dasani 64 might have chosen the same day. So, Dasani, you could be getting your initials engraved on here, but 
it's still just a guess. We will see, we are getting that close. My Christmas present is getting closer to completion. The shed end, and if you're a Chelsea Football Club fan, as I am, you'll know the shed end has another meaning, but it's got a concrete floor. And the other areas, which do not need concreting, have had a bit of backfill and a bit of compacting going on. So, it may be that all that remains is to build up these walls, the separating wall here for the shed and the one at the end, stick a couple of bits of wood down the dividing areas for the compost bins and some kind of front and door on here. Ooh, compost, soon. The swimming pool. Two things going on here. Plastering and waterproofing inside the seating area. And proof, if any more were needed, that our foreman Manny is completely bonkers. They've built a bridge going across on the outside of the pool over to the island area. All that is, is some pretty heavy duty tubular steel and some of the phenolic, phenolic, phenolic board. And he's driving the diggerator across it with backfill. How bonkers is that? Let's just see if he's gonna go. Okay, just in a fix, I'll be right back. Here he goes. Oh, you can hear the boards creaking. I'm like with any driving. Going forwards is all right. Doing it backwards. Come on. Upstairs, just over the top of the entrance lobby. Tons of chipping out going on. So they can add plaster to where they have columns and beams. Here's a first, a door frame. And yes, we are going with metal door frames. This is for the bedroom at the front of the house on the north side, or on the right as you are facing the front of the house. A door frame, there you go, I was not expecting that. These guys are not helping. They keep talking and making me laugh. But we're back here in the bedroom at the back of the house. In the centre, we got Richard, we got Ariel, and we got our electrician, Mr. Jess. And we are getting this separating wall between the bedroom and the walk-in closet up to height. And they're preparing to put a door in. And take your dizzy pills. Guess what? More, more chipping out. Oh, they're having a good time today. Even with no power. A lang power, I think. Front bedroom on the north side. Marvin, up on the platform, getting the front wall finished. That's the last wall in this room. Which means that upstairs, if memory serves, all of the walls will be done, except for that one little partition wall we just looked at and accept one or two tie beams that need to be concreted in. But very, very close. The aircon crew are here, so they're gonna try and manage without power tools, unless they have anything battery operated. In the home theater room, nothing happening. But Steve, who has been, I've mentioned before, incredibly helpful with pointing me towards all sorts of resources and giving me his own thoughts on this room and what we can do with it. He was asking, what's the update? So the update is the builder I spoke to him this morning and he is talking to a, another builder that he knows up in Manila who has some experience of home theatres. He's going through the resources that Steve sent and they will come up with a plan. It may be a while yet, uh, there's nothing urgent they need to do here other than ensure that we have all of the electrical uh, points that we need, all of the data access that we need uh, in preparation for what comes next. So Steve, 
once again, thanks for all your advice and your help. We'll have more on this when we have it. It might be a little while yet. It's getting on in the afternoon. It's almost three o'clock. So here we are back at the Aisha team spot where the wall is continuing and they are actually burning away at these tree stumps, presumably to make absolutely sure they're killed off and there's no more growth that can disturb the roots, unless there's a barbecue coming later. They have got all of the top beam along here poured. They have now got the tie beam in all the way across those two sections. I think that may have been that done yesterday. And if I avoid the mixer, we now have three more sections up to five or six levels of concrete hollow block. And beyond that, no more digging. Just Oh yes, there is. There is some more digging going on down at the other end of the wall. I think this will be less than a week. We'll see. At the swimming pool today, all of the focus has been building this bridge. And if it can take a diggerator, it might be able to take my weight. And backfill, a lot of backfill has gone in. And now, as you can probably make out, they've concreted in most of those tie beams. I think after that, more backfill. I'm not sure if there's anything to be done with the walls inside here. I think not now. So we may get some water coming up into the base. Hopefully it all gets absorbed very quickly. Up on the corner in what will be the master bathroom. You will be able to make out, because I'll zoom it in, the form that they put up and those tubular steel pipes that are there. That is to do with ventilation, I am told. We will see how that develops. The remaining parts of the walls in the dirty kitchen are getting filled in on this side and on this side where the patio will be. Not too long before those are finished as well. I'm not sure when these came in, but here, a lot more door frames. We did have, at the beginning of today, two bedrooms which required more concrete hollow block. This was one. We only have one left to finish. All of this is done. With the exception of the top beam, this one's done. That's it. I think all of the concrete hollow block upstairs is finished. Given that the gym walls are not all done and we just saw the dirty kitchen and we know that the living room front wall is going to be kept open for a while longer, upstairs beat downstairs with all the walls upstairs as far as I can tell with the exception of one or possibly two tie beams it's all complete. Downstairs a way to go yet. It's possible that I've spoken prematurely, or to put it another way, I was wrong again. Because it may be, I don't know exactly what the plan is here, whether there will be any walls or partial walls for this balcony for the master bedroom. So it's possible more bricks needed upstairs still. That's it, the bell is ringing as we speak. 4.30, time to go. Upstairs, all the partition walls at the very least were concrete hollow blocked in. There may still be one or two tie beams to do, but they're all done. There may still be some concrete hollow blocks to do for the balconies, but all of the walls are done. The walls in the dirty kitchen, I can see, are done. Lots of things done. Swimming pool crew got those tie beams concreted in, uh, in the platform area. The wall around the corner crew have some good news for those of you who are slightly earlier than my estimate of day 128. They think three to four days. So that could be 
they want two five, they want two six, or if they're off a little bit, they want two seven. That's their view. One two five, one two six seem to be favourites now. Got a sneaking feeling that Sun Jack picked one two six, although I think he was not alone. So there we go. Day's done. Things getting finished off. The aircon crew were in, busy as usual. Good day today. Again, lots more things going on. I'm not gonna put a picture of an aircon on the thumbnail because that clearly was a disaster. If you've made it this far, don't forget, please, 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 stick a like on. Stick any kind of comment in your like. Tell me something else about yourself. I do enjoy the, the comments going backwards and forwards that aren't just Oh, thanks. Although, it's always thanks when you've made a comment, even if I don't like it, which is very, very rare. There we go. Day's done. See you tomorrow. Back in the centre bedroom. Richard's in here, Ariel's in here. Wow. <laughs> right, I gotta start again. No, nothing tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Come on. <laughs> We're back in the bedroom at the back of the house, in the centre. And we've got Richard, and we've got Ariel, and we've got Mr. Electrician Jess. And they keep talking to me, and I keep making me laugh. So, stop talking. What is the meaning of what? <laughs> oh, this is impossible. I give up. <laughs> okay, shh. <laughs> I'm a science therapist. I'm a graduate test graduate. How you come your English is so good? Yes, sir. Where did you learn? Yes. Sir. In Philippines? Or you went, you work in overseas? In Philippines, sir. Wow. Because I'm experienced for, uh, in mother 